Hey, I hope you're having a great day. So I thought I'd make a video showing how my uh, bumper turned out. <clears throat> Came out really good. Um, kind of feeling how it's not too soft. I was worried that the paint was going to dry a little bit soft. But this was supposed to be black, but it actually came out almost like a gray color. It was supposed to be a hammer-on paint. And that's kind of the texture it was supposed to have, but it came out pretty smooth. Um, which I don't mind, but I think it looks good. And uh, I was going to kind of show you how I did this. Let me uh, go show you what the bumper looked like before. So here's the... Um, the bumper that it took off it's all banged up um, so I just basically picked up one off of like Craigslist or something and uh, I took a, a sander and put like 60 or 80 grit on it and just it was just a little hand hand sander for wood projects um, and I just sanded it all basically it's kind of scuffed up the surface and then I took a an anti-rust product and just sprayed it all over it and it was a rust uh, rust primer so it did two things for me I need the rust on it kind of converted it into a paintable surface and then it sort of gave me a primer to stick onto the um, scuffed up surface and I just got uh, these two so so horses here you can actually see some overspray on there um, and then I just laid the bumper on there and did all the work on this with two plastic sawhorses. I picked these up at Harbor Freight. I can't remember, like $12 a piece or something like that. And uh, and then I just spray painted it with that uh, Rust-Oleum. I'll go get the can and show you what that was. Alright, so here's what I used. This was the Rust-Oleum uh, Hammer Paint and Primer. It says it's for any surfaces, but it says it's black. I guess it kind of came out with the texture it's got on this. I was kind of looking for more of a more of a crinkly look, but it, it I guess it's similar color. It was calling it black, so I was expecting more like that band color. It came out to me more like a almost like a, a gray color. And then uh, what I've been using is this uh, Dupacolor Rust. Um, turns rust into a black primer and so I sprayed that all over anyways I think it came out pretty good for what it is you know it just was now it's not here's that side that was bent in in fact uh, this was all rusted up oh it's kind of coming through so I didn't do too good of a job there but uh I realized there was a lot of rust in here I'm gonna treat that again um, hit it with an anti-rust product and then spray paint it over and uh, this is just like a truck to haul stuff around in, so I don't care if it gets beat up and stuff. It's kind of neat having a vehicle where if somebody like <laughs> hit you a little bit, you wouldn't care if they added to your dents, as long as the vehicle is still functional. And as I get parts for it, I'll, uh, I'll probably just uh, upgrade it. Ordered some uh, lights for it. The front's been hit or something. I think it's right there. You can sell the bumper's kind of bent in more than it is over here and then my it rains a lot so I put some packing tape over here to keep the water out of there. there's a hole in that lens and it's been actually working really good but I ordered replacement lenses this one sticks out and I think it's because it's actually pushed in you just, oh yeah here's a dent so anyways figured uh, I'll put in replacement lens and those things pretty soon that's my next upgrade and then uh Actually, I should replace these. I got some Honda ones. <laughs> and uh, so I put some Honda uh, deals on my license plate there. Anyhow, I just thought I'd make a quick video showing how this came out. Again, I was, I'm happy with it. It looks pretty good. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully, if you, if you have a similar project like this, maybe this will help you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.